Hello everyone, this is Gary Rays with Remax Integrity and Tim Tyler with Pacific Residential Mortgage. And we are here to do your monthly update on what's happening in Lane County as far as, as, res, as real estate and mortgages are concerned. Luckily, not 30 minutes ago, I just got the latest Lane County information and what I'm going to do is quickly share some, some information to you that has changed a little bit. Uh, we are comparing things to a year ago at this very moment. So in that case, the median price, remember we've always kept going up and up and up. Well actually, now the median price has gone down just 1%. So the prices have decreased a little bit. We're seeing a lot more price reductions on listings out there. Just want to, want to caution you on that. And of course that's, uh, Tim, that's really the, because of the, of the mortgage. Uh, interest rates that have climbed. Yeah, yep. so, Federal Reserve is kind of doing a, a pretty good job of uh, of curbing the uh, the demand in the real estate market. Boy, they isn't it? have, they <laughs> have. You know, we're we we're now at a point where where the market. Remember when the we had multiple offers and we sold our house in four days and well mm. now we're talking about almost a month and a half that the homes are on the market. So things have drastically yeah. changed of recent. So new mm -hmm. listings are down about 12.5% from a year ago. Uh, closed sales down 21% from a year ago. And of course, uh, that has some, some significant impact. The median price of real estate here in Lane County has dropped from 435,000 to 430,000. That may that's that's not a very big drop as as I can uh, see from here. But here's the thing that I do want to caution be before we get into mortgage uh, strategies, Tim, and sure. that is <clears throat> we've gone down like a grand total of one percent over the year. Whoopie scoopy. The problem with that is interest rates have gone up three percent plus over the yeah, year. Exactly. So, and the only reason I say that is we don't know what the future holds. It mm. you, doesn't matter which programs you watch, CNBC, uh, national radio of some type, they're all gonna have different opinions. What we do know is interest rates have shot up and prices have barely gone down. So my point about that is don't be waiting for the prices of homes to go down before you decide to purchase. We need to get this done as quickly as we possibly can. Tim, Absolutely. I want to ask you, in today's situation, I know you're going to update us on the, on the current interest rates, mm -hmm. what are the best mortgage strategies out there for buyers? Yeah, no, that's a, that's a really good question. Um, what we're seeing more than um, anything in the marketplace right now are first-time home buyers that are uh, buying homes now that weren't able to a couple years ago when things were just yes. crazy. You know, they were getting, you know, they were getting outbid. Um, they didn't have enough, enough money down. So, mm -hmm. so the sellers weren't comfortable taking that offer because there's more risk associated with that. So we are seeing more home, uh, first time home buyers jumping in. So we're seeing FHA loans, which uh, require only a three and a half percent down. We're seeing USDA loans that, you have to be outside the, you know, the Springfield, Eugene, uh, you know, boundaries to, to actually get a USDA loan, but that's a true zero percent down loan. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's also uh, for our veterans out there, we still have the VA loans that require zero down as well, uh, which is a great benefit for for uh, for our veterans. And um, and we also have some uh, conventional loan products uh, for as low as three percent down, and some for as little as zero down as well. So if so, I understand you correctly, you said that there's better opportunities for the new buyers. Yes. Is that because there's less multiple offers? In other words, there's not 20 people aiming at that same house. There may yes. be only five people aiming at that same house. Exactly so you have a right. better chance of getting accepted an accepted offer from that it, perspective. Exactly right. That, okay. that, is, that is the reason. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Well, we hope that this interest 
increases uh, that are happening right now slow down significantly because right now mm -hmm. we're starting to edge up just above the 30-year average of what people have been paying mm -hmm. forever except for the last four years because it's always been six seven percent for for as, certainly for, well <laughs> as long as I've been alive that's what it's been <laughs> and then of course it dropped down the last four years but it's exactly. back to what we call normal but it's starting to inch up a little bit higher than that Today, it, it is. Is, you were just telling it is. us. Yeah. Well, I mean, just since last week, the rates in, in interest rate, they've gone up about 1%. Okay. In rate, <laughs> you know, so that's a, that's a big jump. So, so we're, you know, we're really in the mid sevens um, now. We're, we're in the mid sixes last week, so. Okay. So bottom line is if they want to make a move or find out the best mortgage options, they should contact you. And, and I know that that's going to be on the, on the site where they can contact you, phone <laughs> numbers and all of that kind of thing. So yes. that would be the number one thing to do is get pre-approved Yes. and find out how much you can afford. Mm -hmm. And then, then, then they can contact the realtor of their choice. That's, that's exactly right. And we can take that one step further and have them completely approved for their loan. They can go through the underwriting process and the only thing that needs to be approved is the home. And we can, we can watch the market. Um, you know, I have my hand on the pulse of the markets. Sometimes I do get surprised a little bit, but I have a pretty good idea that rates have had this really knee jerk you mm -hmm. know, effect, have gone up so rapidly that we are gonna see them come down just a little bit. So for our listeners, to quickly explain what Tim is able to do, the interest rates <clears throat> don't go up and they just do this. They're like <laughs> this. Tim exactly. has the ability to, when he sees it drop, <clears throat> he can quickly lock it in for you for yes. 30, 60, 90 days. Exactly. Yep. <clears throat> but now I'm getting a frog in my throat, <laughs> and that's because we just finished the uh, 4th of July, and I swear... <laughs> That there were lots of uh, frogs out there jumping around, <laughs> scared from all the fireworks. So I don't <laughs> know what happened. Definitely were. <laughs> At any rate, listen, we'll uh, we'll speak again here in a month. Again, this is July sixth for for uh, reference, and we'll be back in August to update you with the latest information with our Lane County real estate.